All right, everyone. I just wanted to uh, go over real quick the uh, difference between a cheap spray gun and a bit of a higher end. They call it a professional grade. Um, so basically, I bought this one a couple years ago before we started spraying a bunch. Um, it was mostly just coating our own vehicles. So this was, I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. It came with two containers. This is actually the, one of the containers it came with. Um, they all, pretty much all these style containers fit on all the guns. Um, so this spray gun here, I, it's $45 today on Amazon. This one, which is made by Woolwax out of Massachusetts, is 100 this one came with three bottles, this one came with two, this one came with two wands, this one came with one single wand, this one came with a three, 360 degree uh, wand tip that's, I think, it, I think it's two feet long, and then it came with a regular, where's this one, 362, okay, they're both 360 sprayers, but 18 and 24 inch um, hoses, this one came with just a standard no tip, uh, sprayer this one did um so you get a bit better you know another an extra container and then better spray wands with the with the nicer one that cost twice as much um this one you can't adjust the flow of the fluid fluid film service shield whatever your wool wax you're spraying this one has a fully adjustable nozzle tip on it so you can loosen this nut or tighten this nut and you can screw this end in and get it to go all the way down up to where you have nothing coming out of it. Um, I just leave it on full flow. I would recommend this, just buy this the first time. Um, this one's made by, I think, Keller Products, and then this one was made by, I think it's just made by Will Wax. Um, so, yeah. This one's way heavier duty. Brass. It's got a nicer handle, nicer sprayer. It sprays... The time it takes to undercoat a vehicle with this is about 50 to 70% longer than it takes to coat a vehicle with this one. Um, this spray gun I'm running at a way, way lower PSI. So the setup, everything's the same. It's all the same stuff. So we're spraying this at like 40 with the new spray gun that I bought. Um, with this spray gun, I had to spray around, I had to have it around 90 PSI for it to get, to get it to spray. Um, otherwise it would just shoot out like chunks. Um, it wouldn't like give you a nice spray. This one, I'm all the way down to 40 and it comes out crazy fast. Like I'm just, couldn't believe it. I should have bought the nicer version a long time ago. Um, fluid film also has this same style setup. Um, they run $150 at the parts store for this, but this was 99 bucks on Amazon and these are going for like 47 right now. So I kind of wish that I had bought the nicer one to begin with, um, just cause it saves time and time is money. So I might actually be able to drop my undercoating prices slightly just to be able to make it more affordable for the customer now that it, it takes me less than half the time with that new gun so this is it is heavier um the other thing is this one when you tip it up if you're spraying upwards it doesn't dump on you this one has a hole right there and when you tip that up it just runs right out of there um so yeah so a couple differences between the two um i would definitely say just get the nice one that's 100 bucks whether you get the fluid film one or the wool wax one well the wool wax company is it's more of a smaller local, I don't, I don't know how big they are actually. Um, they're based out of mass. Uh, the fluid film one on Amazon was, I think it was 150. I'm not sure. Regardless, just a quick little video on spray guns here. So hope that helps you guys when you're deciding what to purchase. Thanks for watching.